Cumberland County parents were faced with a tough decision after a tough diagnosis. ABC 27 senior investigator Kendra Nichols reports now on how they help their son find a way to still enjoy the sports he loves. 15 year old Jaden Smith is a sophomore at Carlisle High School, a wide receiver and a point guard. Playing sports gives him life, but every time he plays, his life could be at risk. We're so fortunate that his didn't go undiagnosed. In May, Jaden was playing basketball when something didn't feel right. Like I would just get fatigued and then I would start seeing like black spots. Jaden sat out the rest and of the then, game, but his mom followed her instincts and took him to the doctor. After an abnormal EKG, he was sent to the cardiologist. He was diagnosed with HCM, it's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is it's the thickening of the heart muscle. The biggest thing is like when he's exerting himself, it happens a lot of times that he, his heart will stop because it can't get the adequate blood flow. Which meant playing the sports he loved may no longer be an option. Jaden took it very hard. I just kept telling her that I just wanted him to play. With the help of his doctor, they created a safety plan, which includes an AED. Well, his AED doesn't leave him. Um, he carries it to school every day with him in his backpack. He carries it to basketball. It sits on the sidelines at his games with him. It's a risk Jaden's taking every time he goes out there and plays. It is scary for me, but I still enjoy it because I know it's what he loves. Unfortunately, Jamie found out all four of her biological children have HCM. Her two-year-old daughter is already showing symptoms. Her heart muscle is already slightly thickened, so... Um, she will be in the same position as Jaden. Which meant they needed more AEDs, which would cost thousands of dollars. They launched a fundraiser and surpassed their goal. Thank you for contributing to this. It really means a lot to us and what we're trying to do to help other kids just like me. The family plans on using the extra donations to buy AEDs for schools or organizations that need them. Kendra Nichols, ABC 27 News.